guys, Little J the Right Chair Goober here. Uh, sans bolo tie and pearl snaps because I'm not goobering right now. Uh, today's pearl snap of wisdom is a great source of passive income that uh, you should really, really be looking into. No Uber or Lyft driver should be without. Um, and that is called a Play Octopus. Play Octopus is a company that will send you, at their expense, a tablet with data service activated, charger, hardware, mounting, mounting equipment, everything at their expense for you to put in your car. And it will basically pay you for the miles you drive, even when you're not working. It's totally passive income. Um, they have a little formula, algorithm, to calculate how many um, rides that you have given, and they pay you per ride. Unfortunately, they're not very transparent about what that formula is but they will pay you for every mile that you drive based on how many rides that they think it is and they also play pay you for every game that a passenger plays and that's what this is this is games for your passengers to play while they're on the ride um and it's it's kind of like those machines that you see up on the, the touchscreen games that are on the bar uh, at a tavern or a nightclub or something like that you people put a quarter in it and play the games uh, instead of putting money in it, it's paid for by ads. They've got a revenue sharing program where you get passive income from it. Um, you're not, you're not going to get rich on it. It's not going to make you a lot of money. But just having it in the car is worth money to you. And why would you leave money on the table? On top of that, my passengers love it. They love it. I get high ratings, lots of comments. Um, you know, I... I mainly work weekend nights, so the drunks argue with the trivia and play and act like fools with it. It keeps them amused so they're not tearing up my car. It's an all-around win-win. Now, as it would be, my octopus went missing a few weeks ago. And I wish they would have been more efficient about the process, but Play Octopus did send me a new one. So, we're going to unbox it together so you can see what you get in the box. But I'm going to show you how I have mine set up because I don't do it quite like they intend you to. Uh, I've got a better way. So here it is, delivered via FedEx two days, just a couple of days ago. Let me get a knife out here and we'll show you what's in the box. I really ought to have my uh, camera on a tripod for this, but it's a real dismal spring day and I think it's about to rain on me. As you can see, they send you a little book of information here. And ah, they are now including bumpers on the tablet which I think is cool because mine did not have this bumper but they do take a lot of abuse from passengers from kids from drunken idiots and whatever else so I'm glad they're putting bumpers on them now they actually include very nice rugged high quality charging cables but I do not use the one they include um, this particular tablet they sent me is a micro USB I think most of them are I think they have a deal with LG these are LG tablets Android tablets and this is a headrest mount it's kind of an elastic and velcro gadget that wraps around the headrest and it has four clips that snap on the corners of the tablet and i see that this bumper has indentations in the corner for those clips it doesn't hold it well it's terrible and they also send a good little charger the last one i got was a key charger i'm pretty sure this one is too looks like it Oh, it's a quick charge. It's not key. It's quick charge 3.0. That's good, too. Um, but let me show you how I set it up in my car. And don't mind the mess. This is a family car when it's not the Goober Mobile. I have a 7-port USB charger tucked into my console up there. And one of those ports is routed under the console up alongside the seat here and to this Kinu headrest mount and as you can see this thing is really rugged and rigid and it's spring loaded and so all I have to do you know what this is not a new tablet this is a repurposed one it's got some ugly scratches on it let me see if I can do this one-handed nope there we go, like that. The other reason I like this Kinu mount, one, it's very rigid. It can be tilted and swiveled so that people can play who are sitting on the other side of the car. It doesn't block my headrest screen. 
because I have a slideshow on my headrest screen for my passengers. And then all I have to do is take my charger and plug it in. There, now I've got it plugged in and you can see it, uh, it came barely charged. I recommend putting a dab of some silicone or shoe goo or heck RTV if that's what you got or Elmer's glue if that's what you got anything to hold this charger in here one rowdy stupid drunk obnoxious passengers will knock it around and maybe mess it up or make it make it loose or knock it out and two uh, sometimes obnoxious drunk passengers will say oh this must be the aux cord and yank it out wanting to plug their phone into it so they can play their own music even though I have a tablet over here for them to play their own music on where I have Amazon Prime Music. So let's power this guy up and see what it has to say. And there we go. It's got a trivia game in it. It's showing directions. After we finish this trivia game, it want to play an ad. Then you have your choice of a few games. It's constantly updating. So the games are rotating. Is that your final answer? Who wants to be a millionaire? You know, and it gets progressively harder and harder. It starts off easy to hook the passengers so it's a want to play. It'll just torture them and torture them until they play. Okay. And you can, they can always tap right here. And it'll tell them about me, information that I put on the website. Including badges, you can see I've had Octopus for two years. This one is for being one of the first hundred people to adopt Octopus in my city. So it gives them useful information, little tidbits. It's just something that I like because it keeps the drunks amused. There's a link in the video description on how you can sign up. It's my link. And I would appreciate you signing up as a referral from the Rideshare Goober. You can also find a link down there. It's an affiliate link for the headrest mount that will definitely keep it safer and more secure than the included one. If you found today's Pearl Snap of Wisdom useful, it's just about time for me to hit the road for a Friday night. So y'all be safe out there. And remember, the bolo makes it better. <laughs>